Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, I'll talk about setting cutoff date for final payroll. Let's go to SQL. By default, when you process a final payroll, you can see that the system automatically set it to end of the month, the last day of the month. But for certain company, it may not be like this. Maybe the cutoff date is as on 28th of the month. So how to do this? Let's show you an example. In SQL Payroll, I have set under Payroll Open Pending, free overtime. Okay, you can see that Brian, Brian have two OT of the month on 26 and also 28. Let's say it's 28. Okay, 26 and 28. And this employee Li Chong Wai, the OT is on 29. Let's see what happened. Still the same, we go to new payroll, final payroll. But this time, let's call out the cutoff date. How to do that is at the process from and to, and there's a three dot button. Click on it and you can see the cutoff date. Let's set it as 28. And you can see that it will automatically change the process date as well as the process from and to date. Then, just click process. When finish, you can see that when you go to Brian, the overtime will appear. If you still remember, Literally also have OT, but the OT date is on 29. So when you double click into it, there's no OT for him because it will only be processed next month. So it's very straightforward. Basically, what you need to do is just call out the cutoff date when you process the payroll. And the rest just king accordingly under the open pending. That's all for how to setting cutoff date for final payroll. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.